See, everyone has great ideas. Everybody or most people have goals and ambitions in life. See, ideas and goals, that's the easy part, execution. Execution is what's hard. See, the hard part is doing, putting in the work day in and day out only to get incrementally closer to your goal. The hard part is staying motivated and continuing to do the work when you can't even see that goal, when you can't even see that idea. It's nowhere in sight, but you know you gotta get that work done. And it's hard because, well, laziness. It's much easier to just not do anything to get closer to your goal than to do something just to get incrementally closer, but not even be close enough to see it. And see, here's the thing with laziness. It, it, it usually doesn't come abruptly. It creeps up on you. It's slow. And before you know it, over time, you are developing these habits that are making you lazier and lazier. And by the time you look back on your life in the last month, in the last year, you've done nothing. You're in the same spot. Today, I'm going to show you these five habits you need to avoid. Number one, you're not making your bed. And I know what you're thinking, Jose, what does my mattress have to do with my goals? Everything, my guy everything. See, your brain, it tackles tasks with momentum. For example, you know when you, those days that you go to the gym and then for whatever reason, now you just want to do your homework. So you get that done and out of the way. And now that you're on a roll, now you just clean up your room and get that out of the way. See, it's almost like you're motivated to continue to complete tasks because your brain rewards you every time you complete a task that you know is good for you. So once you get that momentum going, you just wanna complete one after another after another because you're fueled off of that high. Well, the same thing happens with your bed. See, what is the easiest task you can do every morning that you have to do every morning? Make your bed. It is the easiest, quickest task that you can do that will trigger your brain and trigger that snowball effect. With momentum, take on that confidence of completing all the tasks you need to do throughout the day. Number two making excuses. See, making excuses, it is the best way to justify why you're not doing something right now. I'm too busy. It's too expensive. It's too hard. No one else is doing it. Yo, my friends are out. So next time you're about to deliver an excuse as to why you're not doing what you need to do now, I want you to be truthful with yourself. Like literally stop, take accountability and think, is me not doing this task right now beneficial or is it harmful for me to get to my goal? Once you get your answer, once you're really truthful with yourself, you already know what to do. Get to work. Number three, a cluttered workspace. Look at my home office. Look at my actual office. It's always clean and minimal. That's because a cluttered workspace, it's a cluttered mind. Yo, I've been diagnosed with ADD and ADHD when I was younger, so my attention span's really short and it doesn't take too much to get me distracted, which is why I do everything I can to control my workstation for one singular goal, to keep me focused and making sure that your work area, your room, your office, whatever it is, is clean, is priority to the point that I've, I've even noticed that sense helped me. This is actually what inspired me to design our oil diffuser for Santa Lucia. See, this July 10th, 10, 10 a.m. Eastern, Santa Lucia is our luxury line of fragrances. And for me, I've always loved candles. I've always loved, oil. I just like areas that smell good because it, it inspires you, it motivates you. This is exactly why I wanted to design something that looked good. See, I'm all about that clean workspace that, that's aesthetic. This July 10th, we're dropping our new oil diffuser, which, bro, just the process of setting it up, it's a vibe. See, the cool thing is that you can get it in one of three scents, the Come Closer, which is our love scent. So if you're in a bedroom, you're setting up the mood, Netflix and chill, that's the scent you're gonna want. Or our To Conquering scent. This is our powerful scent, the, the confidence-fueled scent that if you're working, this is the scent you're gonna want. And then you have the everyday scent. This is great just for every single day. It's citrus infused, it's fresh. It's perfect for anything. So once you pick your scent, you're gonna get a kit. The cool thing is that you get the vase, you pour the oil, and then you put in our carbon stick. That carbon stick will absorb the oil over time and disperse it across the room. So not only will your room just smell irresistible, not only will it make you want to be there, it also looks good. See, my goal with the oil diffuser is I wanted it to look aesthetic. I wanted it to level up any room you put it into. And that's exactly what we did. Now, boys, you already know, the last time we dropped Santa Lucia, we sold out our entire inventory within one day. 90% have been gone, now it's completely sold out. But for this launch, if you guys want this oil diffuser, I'm telling you, it's probably gonna fly. So you're gonna need to put a reminder on your phone, July 10th, 10 a.m. Eastern, we're dropping our new oil diffuser and also restocking our fragrances that are sold out, boys. 
if you want to level up your room or yourself or even your car because we're dropping a car diffuser, you're not going to want to miss this. And I'm going to level it up even one more point. For Essentials, we did a giveaway. A hundred guys got anywhere from five to 10 to 20 bucks in their order cash. Now this was for Essentials customers only, but I heard your complaints. So I'm going to do that with this giveaway as well. If you shop for Pro Member or Saturday 10 a.m. Eastern, 100 dudes will get cash in their order. But one lucky dude, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me do it, I'm going to grab five grand cash and put it in your order. I'm not only going to level up how you smell, I'm going to level up your bank account. Boys, you're not going to want to miss that. Which takes us on to number four, working with your phone right next to you. See, what I just mentioned was you want to set your place so you can be effective. And having your phone next to you, this is a distraction. See, one notification, one light up, it's all it takes. See, as soon as your phone lights up, you're like, oh, I got a text message. Let me answer this. Oh, crap, I got five more text messages. Let me just clear these out. Oh, look, they sent me a TikTok. Let me see if it's funny. Ha, 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 it's funny. Let me, oh, accidentally scroll. Now it's another TikTok. Before you know it, you've just spent two hours on your phone. And now, because you've wasted and procrastinated so much, you've killed your stream of focus. And now you're going to be less motivated to get back to doing the work. Working with your phone next to you is the easiest way to fall into that lazy trap. And finally, number five, your screen time is too high. The average screen time in America is around six to eight hours. And this is across the board between phones, tablets, and computers. See, what you need to understand is that tech giants, the big companies, their singular goal is one, to keep you glued on your screen as long as possible. So I want you to go to your phone and check your screen time. See how long it is. If you fall within that six to eight, see, mine's about two hours. I try to to keep it under three every single day. If you're in that six to eight, just know they've won, you've lost. You've already wasted the majority of your day behind the screen not being productive. So use that screen time indicator as an indicator for yourself and a metric. Set a goal for yourself and stay under that goal on a daily basis. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are five habits that just creep up on you. They're slow, but they end up making you lazy. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget our Santa Lucia launch happens this July 10th. You're not going to want to miss it. That's it for me today. See you next time.